Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the entirety of Season 2 of Star Wars The Bad Batch. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can keep growing out towards 250 subscribers. And hit that like button as it helps us get noticed better in the terrible, terrible YouTube algorithm. Now let's dive into Season 2 of The Bad Batch. A little history with uh, my the show and myself. I thought Season 1 was fine, but I wasn't in love with it like I was Clone Wars and Rebels. There was some stuff I liked. The first few episodes I thought were really good. The episodes with Cad Bane I thought were really good. Um, some of the episodes with Crosshair were really good, but I thought season one just had way too much filler and felt it could have been better if it was like an eight episode show. And honestly, I thought it would have been a cool video game, like a four person Borderlands style co-op video game with the Bad Batch. I thought that would have been way better. So going into season two, I wasn't really hyped. Even though my man Emperor Palpatine was in the trailer, I wasn't like super stoked, but I'm glad to say season two was a big improvement in my opinion. I loved season two. I thought it was great. There are still some filler episodes, but not as many. There's probably like three, and even some of the filler episodes are actually entertaining. Like the first season, I was like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But this season, like some of the filler episodes, filler, uh, you know, actually were fun to watch. Like there's a filler episode where, you know, they're escorting a Jedi Wookiee back to Kashyyyk. And I loved that episode. It was one of my favorite episodes of the season. I loved watching it. There were like probably, I think, three, maybe four episodes where I was like, come on, let's go. But for the most part, I thought this season cruised along fairly well. Like the first three episodes were great. And then probably a filler or two. And we got another batch of really good ones. And like the last like six episodes were fantastic. Like no filler at all. So I think they definitely took some notes for this season. I still think it could probably be better if they took it from like 16 episodes to 12. But nonetheless, I loved this season. I thought it was great. They actually had long form storytelling like they set up in the beginning episodes that they cannot trust Sid. And then it all pays off in the finale when Sid betrays them and sells them out to the Empire. Uh, this season very much felt like their Empire Strikes Back season. Like the end of this season does not end on a very happy note uh if you haven't seen it of course we are spoiling things here so tech dies at least it really looks like he dies like he falls off winter soldier style bucky barn style and uh so maybe he's not dead because bucky didn't die but i hope they do keep him dead i hope he's gone because that would kind of take out the emotional resonance of the finale uh omega is captured by the empire so it's just hunter uh, Echo and Wrecker that are like on the prowl. They are going full Joel from The Last of Us next season to try to find Omega. And there was some great stuff in this season. I thought there were some missed opportunities. Like they introduced a, a bounty hunter that was just some random person. I thought it would have been cool if they brought back Cad Bane or something to kind of tie it in more. We did get some more Saw Gerrera action this season, which I thought was great. We got to see Rex again, who I always love. Rex is one of the best Star Wars characters out there. We got to see Bail Organa in this season. As I said before, we got to see um, the Emperor Palpatine show up. That whole storyline was incredible, how he kind of gaslit that dude into uh, making the clones seem useless so he could introduce his Stormtrooper program. I thought that stuff was excellent. We do get to see some more Clone Wars tie-ins to this, making it feel like a true spinoff of the Clone Wars, which... It is. It's basically a spinoff of the Clone Wars. And we get to dive farther into the relationships between all the members of the Bad Batch and Omega. And I was... The first season, the big problem for me was, like, every episode, Omega got into some stupid jam where she needed rescued. And they didn't really do that as much this season, which I was glad they didn't because it was annoying. But she's growing up. She's getting a little older. So she's getting a little more mature and holding her own. Her relationship with Tech definitely you know progressed it was always her and hunter in the first season but her and tech really got close this season and tech became like my favorite character which i think was on purpose probably a lot of people felt that way so they'd really feel the gut punch when they killed him off in the season finale uh i love wrecker wrecker's like some of the stuff wrecker says is excellent he's probably one of my favorite animated star wars characters out there uh yeah i love this season of the bad batch i like that they actually had a long form storytelling there wasn't as much filler there wasn't as much repetitiveness like they definitely fine-tuned some problems we had in season one and i'm i actually find myself very excited for a season three of the bad batch knowing where this season left off with you know the surviving three hunter wrecker and uh echo they're about to bring the fight to the emperor to save their little sister omega and i can't wait to see that the big ending where like the scientist for the emperor turns out to be a female clone as well i feel like that was supposed to be like a big like dun 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 kind of moment and i i, I don't know i just didn't really care i was like okay your sister so what who 
cares? And uh, the stuff with Crosshair this season was fascinating. I can't wait to see where that goes. It definitely looks like uh, I, I don't I don't think he's gone permanently. I do think he's going to come back in uh, some form and uh, really bring the fight to the Emperor. And I can't I. I'm generally excited for an, a Bad Batch Season 3, and I can't believe I'm saying that after I didn't like Season 1. I almost didn't even watch Season 2, but boy, am I glad I did because I really enjoyed it. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, some of these later episodes were better than the Mandalorian episode they aired next to. So make sure you check out the Bad Batch Season 2. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give Bad Batch Season 2 an 8. 0.5 out of 10. I think I gave the first season like a 6. I'm going to give season 2 an 8.5 out of 10. I definitely think it's worth watching if you're a Star Wars fan. It's some great storytelling, some great world building, and we get some tie-ins to Rogue One, like when Orson Krennic shows up. So it's just a really good show this season that you should definitely check out. Make sure you comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on The Bad Batch. Is this your jam? Do you like it more than The Mandalorian? Let me know that down in the comments below as well. Make sure you like and subscribe so we can keep growing out towards 250 subscribers thank you all for watching i'll see you guys right here next time